Hello, my name is David, and uh, I'm here to go through the setup that I had to go through on this uh, Laguna planer because it came in with a uh, dead battery, so I had to replace it and go through the complete calibration and setup. So I'll take you through it as, as I went through it. Thank you. I've got this thing uh, running now. Uh, the original code that came up on here was uh, change battery. I uh, found out the battery for this control panel is take the side panel off here after you take the hand wheel off and it's just a number C cell battery back here. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera around so you can see it and uh, also show you the control box that's also in here. Right there up there in that upper left hand corner. There it is. You can see it a little better there. All right. If you get it on something that says replace battery, that's what it is. There's the control box with all your switches. And a handy wiring diagram inside the box. So we're going to continue on the uh, setup of the uh, Laguna planer. Uh, I've already gone through, replaced the C-cell battery, and that's what it ended up being. That's your backup for this uh, electronic uh, system here, is just a C-cell battery. All I have is an alkaline right now. I'm going to end up replacing it with the lithium before, before long. But uh, when you do replace it, you lose all your presettings. So all 10 of the presettings that came with this machine are gone. We'll have to go back in and put them in. Not a big deal. They were set up to metric before anyway, so I, I, had, I needed to redo them anyway. So, But also what happened is when I replaced that battery, it came up with an error message. Uh, I ended up being able to get past it uh, just by going out, out of the system here, and, uh, and it cleared out. And then I had to reset the height. So I just manually put it on a dimension say three inches, and then punched in that, the actual three inches in here to uh, put it just roughly where it needed to be. We're going to have to do a calibration on this, so I'm going to end up over here. i got a piece of wood here that I've already run through the uh, joiner, and we'll end up running it through the planer here and take an actual measurement of the thickness and then punching it in here to actually set the machine up to that thickness. After that is done, then we can program in the 10 presets. So, of course, before you run anything, there's maintenance to do on the machine. you got six points up here on the top where it's got to be oil. You've got three oil cups on this side and three oil cups on the bearings on this side. And they take a little bit of oil because they're dry for when they come in for the most part. Uh, You'll pump a little bit of oil in there and uh, they'll drain down and you hit them, hit them again and fill, fill it up to the top of the cups. There you can see those cups right there. There's a second one there and a third. And it's the same way on the other side. And you're able to see the Shear, the, uh, Shear Tech 2 head. And of course, this one's got double rollers on the, on the back side, so it's a, it's a nice planer. So here's what the planer sounds like with, with no load. Not bad, actually. You hear the brake kick in there when it gets about third speed or so. Uh, the fit and finish on it, it's nice. The tables are real nice. Uh, they're nice and smooth, no defects in them. Uh, same way with the uh, wheels. Uh, you got in feet, out feet wheels in here that adjust over here on the side. You can raise them up to a five thousandths of an inch if you need be, if you got rough lumber. And uh, so. All right, I figured I'd walk you through on how you use the little keyboard here and everything to uh, move the table. 
and how to do your calibration and everything. So for if you just wanted to arbitrarily move the table to a predetermined uh, position that you, that you have that's not pre, uh, preset on one of the presets, uh, you would come in here. And just so you know, the two different screens that you have in there, the top screen is the target value. This is the actual setting. So we're going to move this, say, to six inches. You'd hit program. And you'd come over here to 6.0. We're not going anything other, so that's all we need. We'll hit the enter, which is the arrow. Now it's flashing start. That means it's ready to go. takes you to six inches. Uh, don't know if you can see it in the screen. Sometimes the uh, manual wheel over here turns uh, when this thing is uh, automatically going up and down. Uh, make sure you've got the little hand, the hand lever folded in. If that thing was to hit you in the knee, that sure hurt. <laughs> so just to do it one more time, so we want to go back up, say, to four inches. Program, 4.0, enter, which is a little arrow, backwards arrow key here, and then start. All right, there it goes. All right, just ran another board through to uh, check calibration. Uh, the setting was 1.85. Uh, the board measured out to 1.851. So to program this at 1.851, we would go up here to F2, Enter. And then we, we, we would put in 1.851. Then press enter again. All right, now to make it show the new reading, you're going to go over here and put F0, and we're going to hit enter twice. And there it is. So there's your new reading. 1.851 and that's all there is to it and so your calibration is set now the next thing to do after you got that calibration done is now you, get, you got to program in all the presets so now we're going to do the preset for the number three which would be F55 enter this is preset for three so we're going to enter a three we're going to hit enter again. Boom. So we're going to put what the measurement we want for the preset on number three is. It's three inches. 3.000. Enter. That took it right there. When it clears out like that, then hit the, hit the stop button. All right. So it's showing three inches. So we're going to go to one inch. There's your automatic for one. It goes to one inch. Now we're going to go to three inches. There it is. It works. So that's how you put in your presets. Do that for each one of the numbers. You can have ten presets. That's it. On setting your presets of your for all your additional numbers, we just did the number three. Uh, once, once you want to do number four, you don't have to move the table or anything. You just keep punching in your additional presets, number four, on down the line.
So it's actually pretty quick to put all your presets in at that point. Okay, so I figured I'd run a piece through here just so you can see it. I actually had already run this piece already once, but uh, I'll run through again. And uh, the difference between this head here on this Laguna and the Shelix head, the bird Shelix head that's on uh, my Roblin over there, there's, there's really no difference. You can't tell the difference between the cut on the Shelix head and the cut on this one. They're both just smooth. Can we get a little loud? Sorry. see it but uh, no snipe and it's a uh, nice smooth finish just like what we want the real test is going to be all this uh, red cedar mantles that I'm making there's a couple of them on the uh, table there I got ten of them that I'm doing so That'll be the real test. If that doesn't chip out, then we're good. And that'll do it.